Hey guys, it's Steph, and today I am doing another food challenge, and we are going to be eating at a gas station for 24 hours. This video has been very requested, and I'm like, okay, honestly, I feel like gas station has a good variety of food. Like, they got Starbucks little coffee drinks, so like in the glass jars, they have breakfast sandwiches, and like good chips, and like sub sandwiches and then they have like hot food like hot dogs and pizza honestly I'm like okay that doesn't sound too hard at all you know whenever you're on a road trip and if you stop at a gas station sometimes you will get like a little sandwich and and I feel like it sometimes is not bad so I'm excited to do this I'm enjoying doing these 24 hour challenges because you really get to try a variety of the stuff at the place like when I did this at Chick-fil-a I found out I loved their yogurt for breakfast and their coffee was amazing and also their salad was great. Like if I'm going to Chick-fil-A, I'm going to get my usual favorite. But like trying a variety, I was like, wow, okay. I'm surprised. All of this was really good. So it was fun to like try a variety. So I'm really excited today. And yeah, it is breakfast time and I guess Let's head to the gas station. I mean, I would never do this typically. It's more like if you're on like a road trip or last minute, like, oh, gas station's the only stop. Let me grab a snack. But okay, let's go see what the options are. Okay, I'm in my car and I'm not too sure which gas station to go to. Do I just go to any one? Um, maybe we'll go to a different one for each meal. Okay, our first stop is UDF gas station so honestly I've never been in here but let's go Ooh, this is a bougie gas station okay so first we got lots of options we got some donuts which they're kind of all gone the long John we have our coffee station and here is it looks like more of the breakfast sandwiches. Sausage and cheese biscuits, and then we have like our subs for later. Slushies. And then wraps and salads. Okay, this is a good little snack right here. Love anything with cheese. They literally have bags for walking tacos. And then the nacho and chili sauce, what? Yum, that looks really good. And they also have like hot cold brews, but I don't see any cups. Okay, I'm gonna do sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit with some pineapple. And now let's get a coffee. Hope they have the Starbucks ones. Yep, they do. I wish they had like a pumpkin Starbucks one. I thought they'd come out with something like that. Or should we, oh, pumpkin spice latte. <gasps> should we try that? And they got the hookup with the sausage, chipotle mayo. And then all of these up here and sriracha, my favorite. And I'm microwaving my sandwich. I never realized gas stations were this bougie, unless it's just this one. Our first stop was a success, but we gotta try everything first. The sandwich could be like dry as hell, we don't know. Ah, it's so hot, I microwaved it for like two minutes. Okay, so we have our pineapple. I couldn't find a fork. I didn't really look that hard though, so. <laughs> Um, and then I have my breakfast sandwich that I microwaved and it's so hot so we need to let that cool down a bit. And then I got some chipotle mayo for it. Really excited about that. I didn't want to open the sandwich and everything in there and put the hot sauce on it because I didn't want to be like too messy. But I got chipotle mayo which is my absolute fave. And a pumpkin spiced Starbucks coffee. Okay, let's try this coffee. Mmm. I love it. Oh, I love it. This tastes better than the actual Starbucks iced pumpkin spice latte. Wow. Mmm. Wow, I love this. Okay, let's open up this little sausage biscuit. Okay, this is what it looks like. Cheese is really melty. The biscuit just doesn't feel like a biscuit. That's the only thing. It's very spongy. But... We gotta try it. A little squeeze of that. Ooh, and this looks like the good Chipotle mayo. Mm. 
honestly tastes like McDonald's but not like as good you know what this tastes like? It tastes like those Bob Evans microwavable sausage sandwiches at home. I would always eat those as a kid. Like before school, my mom would microwave it for me. So it tastes like that, which is like not bad at all. This is pretty good. The biscuit is just like super soft, which honestly, it at least stays together. I feel like some biscuit sandwiches, they just fall apart and like crumble. So, so far, so good, you guys. Okay, now let's try this pineapple and see if it's fresh. I remember always getting fruit at my high school, and it was always, like, chewy and just, like, so not good, which it came in, like, little containers like this, so I feel like this might be similar. How do you open this? Honestly, it's so bright, though. It looks like it would be good. Like, it's so yellow. Honestly, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's so juicy. And it's not chewy. Isn't it the worst when pineapple's like chewy? And you have to like s like spit out the leftovers. Like kind of like how an orange like has all those veins and it's just like chewy. Sometimes pineapple's like that. Okay. Well, our breakfast, I'm super happy with. Honestly... I already know what I want for lunch. I want one of those sub sandwiches with the chipotle sauce on it. I love sub sandwiches, but also those walking nachos looks good. I feel like we need to go to a different gas station next time though and like see what other ones have because this one's pretty like OP. Well guys, I will see you when it is lunchtime. It is now one o'clock and we are at the next gas station for some lunch. We are at Shell this time. Um, here's what it looks like. Um, I've never been to this gas station either. <laughs> I always go to like the basic ones, um, or whatever one's closest to me, but I never go in the gas stations. Shoot, this one is even nicer. Look at all these options. Ooh, chicken sandwiches, wraps. Oh, there's some subs. Let's see what's back here. Oh, wow. Oh wow, this place has just as many options. I didn't know gas stations were this bougie. Um, no hot dogs. And then what slushies do they got? Mountain Dew, ooh, Mountain Dew. Okay, they're coming for you, Taco Bell. Okay, I want Doritos, especially if I'm getting a sub. Where are the Doritos? Ooh, Pocky Chips. Hmm. No Doritos over here. Ooh, Flaming Hot Munchies, or those? Taki Sticks, what are those? And the blue ones? Oh wait, they got a whole bunch of different Takis. I've had those, those ones are really spicy. Why can't I find the Doritos? Ah, here we go, but they're big bags. Honestly, I think I'm gonna try these because they look like the little barbecue twist Fritos and I love those, and they look spicy. Not sure what it says. Flamas, but let's try these. Ooh, is this chopped onion? Oh, let's try that. Relish, ooh, Italian dressing. Oh, they got good stuff here too. Okay, we have our lunch. I love a good sub, but from Subway. <laughs> so we will have to see how this is. And I'm excited to try these. So here's the sub I got. It is the Meat Lovers Sub. It's a big one with lots of meat. Oh, it doesn't have cheese. Oh, don't tell me. Do not tell me. I got one without cheese. There was like all different kinds. Okay, there is cheese. Yes, and it's orange cheese. We love cheddar, as I call orange cheese. Because some are just like Swiss, and I was like, eh, I want orange. So then I had to get the big daddy sub. Okay, and then I'm going to put mustard on it, mayonnaise on it, and I want to try this chopped onion. I love a cold sub. Like, I don't know, I just think sandwiches are so good. <laughs> and refreshing, especially in summer. And then let's try this chopped onion sauce. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, so I'm gonna try it first. Oh wow, interesting. It's, we'll put a little bit on here, but I love onions, so we'll just sprinkle a little bit on here. This will for sure give you the nasty breath. Let's take our first bite. I 
Honestly, why is it so good? It almost tastes like Subway, just minus like all the veggies because I usually get like lettuce, spinach, cucumbers, tomato, all the crunchy stuff. Honestly, I haven't seen anyone else do these videos, but I feel like most people's reaction would be like, ew, gas station. I forgot I wanted these on the sandwich. Okay, let's see these little chips. Ooh, they're like big curly cues. Curly cues. Curly cues? What are they called? Curly cues. I don't even know what that is. Mmm, like the first taste. Woo, spicy. They taste exactly like those barbecue Fritos. And then like the kick comes in after. This is what I like to do. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay. This one. For sure beats the first one. I really like these. I would definitely get them again. I like how big they are. Ooh, these two are connected. They're lovers. Yeah, this is great. I also like that chopped onion sauce. Mm-hmm. Well, I will see you guys later tonight when we come back to another gas station. Hi, guys. It is now 6 o'clock, and I'm at get-go. This place is busy. There was like traffic to get here. <laughs> this place is only seven minutes away from my house, but this place is busy. It also looks quite big. I'm in the curbside pickup on accident. <laughs> but this place looks pretty big. Ooh, and look at that sub. That looks better than the one we had at lunch. The pictures always look good. Looks like they have probably the same, it says they have a kitchen, so I don't know. Let's go look inside. Oh, so this is the kitchen. Ooh, chicken. So they have a little screen where you could literally order like meal meals. I don't know if this counts. Does this count as the challenge? Oh wow, paninis, yum. Look at this thing of edible dough. Why does it look so weird? <laughs> it's like a little spoon of like sugar cookie dough. I don't know. I kind of want to try it. Should I? Oh yeah, edible sugar cookie dough. Okay, let's see. Let's see, they got the for real milkshake machine. Oh, they have the fun drink machine where you can like mix all the drinks. Jolly Rancher, Blue Raspberry, Jolly Rancher, um, Pepsi, that's what I like. I didn't see that at the last two gas stations. Okay, so we gotta get that. Ooh, their subs look good. They have lettuce on these ones. Honestly, I'm thinking the best bet is to order from the machine. Oh. The big meatball mozzarella wrap. Oh my god, that looks so good. Let's see what else they have. Subs, we already got that. Appetizers, value menu. I want this. Meatball with mozzarella, six pepperoni, marinara, garlic, parmesan sauce. Oh yeah. Okay, $8. Got my cook slushy. Did I fill it up too much? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. It looks like sand. Oh my god, it literally looks like wet sand. I thought there was gonna be like the dome lids, but there we go. I got my cute little slushy. Okay, I got my sandwich or wrap, whatever. It took like 15 minutes. I was in there. Wow, lots of napkins. We'll keep all those. Um, I was in there kind of a while. But let's see how it is. So obviously, I know Sheets is like this, but I think lots of gas, st gas stations nowadays do the little screen things where you can literally order whatever you want. But this thing is like huge. I'm really excited. Meatball subs are like my favorite thing. I wanted to add on jalapenos, but there wasn't an option to like customize it. <laughs> it looks like a hothead burrito or something. Okay. Oh, and I also got a Coke slushy. Haven't tried it yet. That was all tortilla. Don't mind me, let me just bite the tortilla part off. Okay, you can start to see it. <laughs> oh 
I was like, ooh, what's crispy in here? It's the fried mozzarella sticks. Mmm, tastes like a meatball sub. There's just lots of tortilla on this thing. That's the only thing. Mmm. Look at this thing. So it's got a whole bunch of stuff in here. I love meatballs so much. I went through a phase where I like didn't like them. Like spaghetti, no. We pick them off. But no, I love them. Mmm. This is really good. With the garlic sauce in it. This is good. I just wish it was like toasted. Because there is a lot of tortilla too. And like when tortilla is like all soft, it's kind of chewy. Let's try our slushy. These things are just so refreshing and you can get like the large size, I think at like some gas stations, for like 79 cents. Like every size is like 79 cents. It's like, that's crazy. But I just got the small size because that's enough. Tastes interesting. Oh, and it's so cold in my teeth. My teeth are so sensitive to cold stuff. Tastes interesting. You know what? I haven't had a Coke Icy in forever. Um, when me and my boyfriend go to the movies, he usually gets like blue raspberry and I'll have like a few sips of it. Or he gets like all different flavors, like cherry, blue raspberry, and I'll have like a few sips of it. But the Coke one. Ever since COVID, some stuff just tastes so funky to me and if someone gave maybe because it's Pepsi I think it's always been Pepsi though but like if someone blindfolded me and let me try this I would think it tasted like gasoline it's like a weird aftertaste like I can even smell my breath coming out it smells so weird yeah some stuff I can't eat anymore because my when my taste was gone for a month, when I came back, everything tastes wonky. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click my notification bell so you guys always get notified when I post next. And please comment down below where you'd like me to do this challenge at next. It was lots of fun and yeah, I don't know. I love doing the all day challenges. It makes my like whole day fun. But yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Burrito cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Bonus cup. This, this next bite looks so cheesy. Oh. Mm. I want another cheese pool.